instead of writing hard coded values in that you can take user input and make your program more dynamic hello everyone welcome to dart tutorial and in this video you will learn how to take user input so let me share my screen and let's begin okay here you can see instead of writing hard coded values you can give input to the computer it will make your program more dynamic okay we'll see the example let's talk about this one currently that pad does not support user input but it may support after some time but currently that pad does not support support while recording this video you will uh, need to use vs code or you will need to use your computer for that okay let's talk about string user input we already uh, discuss about string if you want to store text based information like address name then you can use string okay let's see the uh, example here here you can see string user input let me create a new file user input user input dot dot first of all you need to import dot dot io for user input let's import it first of all you need to import this one and then just you can print anything just i am writing main method and print enter your good name okay okay and then we need to store the name in some variable okay string name is equal to we need to this is hard coded value if i write vishwaras then it is hard coded value i need to take user input okay for this let's see you need to use std in dot read line since okay just use std in dot read line since uh, then you need to use null safety we will also discuss about null safety later just write question mark after the data type okay string okay let's print the name print hello dollar name okay okay let's run the program dot user input dot dot okay enter your good name okay let me write my name you can write your name okay hello vishwaras powdel you just give user input is vishwaras powdel and it uh, displays is hello vishwaras powdel okay in this way you can take string user input similarly you can also take in integer user input like similarly like this okay <clears throat> let me write one program that will find the square of number okay square number dot dot okay i will copy the whole code and paste it here enter okay let me write enter number and then i will need to use integer here integer and then we already uh, learn about in dot parts okay i will use in dot parts and in source i will write this one okay 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 then uh, there is also one way that is string name is equal to this one and string value is equal to value is equal to this one and integer numeric value is equal to we need to parse it to integer 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 dot parse value okay let me write a semicolon here is one problem again then uh, the argument of type string can be assigned to the parameter type string okay integer dot parse dot to string let me write to string here okay now it is fine 
and uh, we have numeric value let's write integer square is equal to numeric value into numeric value numeric value then just write the square of numeric value is dollar square square okay okay let's run the program that square num dot that okay enter number let me write write 5 then you can see the square of 5 is 25 in this way you can uh, use user input you can also write a program uh, that will say whether the person is voter or non-voter you can try that one we'll also discuss about it later okay here you can see integer user input which is same and you can also uh, take floating point user input just uh, use double dot parse i hope you understood about user input if you have any question regarding user input in that please comment down below if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and share this tutorial with your friends i will see you in the next tutorial thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end thank you